Well, after working from home for almost a year and a half now, engaging in person with coworkers again may be tough for some and with tension surrounding topics like the election or protests or the pandemic, there are certain issues you might just want to avoid discussing in the workplace. Denver 7 social equity reporter Micah Smith is live with us again this morning and Micah, the fear of offending others is causing some people to just disengage. That is right, Brian. Social scientists say there's a lot of social anxiety surrounding what words, phrases and topics are or are not acceptable to use or discuss. Many describe this as woke culture. In essence, woke means to be aware. It also describes an awakening within our society to issues that weren't always openly discussed. And when we talk about woke culture, this refers to the ability to call out things we don't like or find offensive. However, this can impact the way we engage with each other. I talked to May Habib, co-founder and CEO of Writer.com, a website that helps companies with copy editing. And Habib says woke culture can cause some people to avoid engaging with others in the workplace, but it can also work in the opposite way by helping companies and organizations become more aware of how to create a more inclusive environment where everyone feels heard and welcome. The concept of woke culture gives um, companies the opportunity to say, hey, can we have a dialogue about this? Then it is absolutely a good thing. Curiosity and openness is so key. Um, you know, saying I don't have the answers, but just want to have a frank conversation around the words we all use around here. Habib says don't be afraid to ask questions, especially if you're unsure if a word or phrase may offend someone because it's important to engage instead of avoiding each other. Habib says then woke culture can be used in a way that benefits everyone. Brian. All right. Thank you, Micah.